Where's my camera? It should show up soon. Right, here we go. So, how's it going everyone? I am going to be doing um, a quick fix, a solution um, that will sort out the M, what is it, the F, I can't remember what it's called. It's called the F, M F P L A T T dot D L L. That's what it's called. We're gonna solve that. So let's get on and solve it now. Right, so what we do is that we go into this bit here or we can press the Windows key because this is, if you've got an operating system that is Windows 10 and it's got an end by it, and this is how we can check this out. So you can press the Windows key and then we can go and click into S. That's what we'll type in. We'll go into settings and then we will go into system. No, we won't. We will go into, uh, which one is it? Yeah, we'll um, go into that one. So this will be update and security. Click into that. We'll move over to the right hand side. Let me make the screen bigger so you can see what I am doing. Uh, na, 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 na. Let's see. Right, so then what you'll do is that you'll move over to this side where it says OS build. Click that for info. So bear with me because I've got this on this big screen. And as you can see, where is it? It is at the bottom. So it's got Windows specification, Windows 10 Pro N. So that's what I've got, version 204, uh, installed on this date. Uh, basically updated my computer like crazy and it took my Windows uh, feature experience pack off, whatever. Um, we're gonna talk about that in one second. So we'll get out of that. Let me make this smaller again. And when we want to go somewhere else to find the system of what we got, press Windows key again. And then we press S. And then we go to settings. What do we go? System actually. And you can see that I've got, I'm going to make it bigger again. Windows key, make it bigger. You can see that I have got right here, Windows 10 Pro. So that's what I've got. And if you've got this problem, this is probably what you will need to do. So this is the most easiest way to do this. So I'll go into um, press Windows key, get to this app here, press A and then type in, you can type in apps features, click onto apps and features, left click and then click I'll make, make it bigger again, sorry. Then go to optional features, click here, bring it over. And what we're gonna be searching for is we want to search for a program called Media. So we wanna type that in. So add feature, click left click, move over to here, type in M. And then E, why does it keep moving like that? D, and then we got Media Feature Pack. And what we want to do is install it. But before we install it, I'm going to make this smaller. I want to see if you're definitely having this problem, which is I go to Adobe and I can go to Adobe After Effects, which is here. Are you getting this code? The code execution cannot proceed because mfplat.dll was not found. Restalling the program may fix this problem. And I know there's other there's other uh, people doing this, but they're all doing it in a very complex way for people to do this easily. So I'm just gonna show you if you've got that problem. So that's After Effects. Are you having the problem with uh, Adobe Media, uh, Media Coder? It says the same thing. And are you having it with uh, Premiere Pro? Yeah. 
And I think that might be all of them. Oh, and Adobe Premiere Rush. So people that don't know how to um, obviously use uh, a big software, uh, industry standard software, they can use Adobe Premiere Rush. Are you having that problem as well? The fix is, is we go to, so let me get out of this quickly to so show you again. Windows key, we go to apps and features, left click. Then we go to optional uh, features and we go to add feature and then we type in MED and we go to media feature pack. We click on that, we install that. And then it will install at the top here, as you can see. So when this is done, to make it work, you do have to uh, restart this as well. Restart the computer, so this is what we're gonna do. Uh, shouldn't take long. <laughs> Should have really done this as a video now, thinking about it. Should be pretty quick anyway. So you're just installing it. As long as you've got the Windows on any N Windows, um, software that's what's going to solve the problem this is the easiest way now this is installed so now when I go here this will still not work yeah so what I need to do is restart the computer which I'm going to do now and once I've restarted the computer it will do an update like right now getting Windows ready hopefully you can still hear me when I'm speaking hopefully but once this has gone through and then we go back to uh back to desktop then everything will be working and you shouldn't have this problem no more everyone else that i've searched on the internet have not done it this way and this is the easiest way to do it without getting piercing uh malware spyware trojan horses um or any viruses or anything like that you need to go to a website elsewhere even Microsoft is just so confusing of what you need to do. So I found the solution and this works and it works properly. So this is how long it takes to obviously restart and install. And then um, we're gonna go into it now. Just gotta sign into my computer. And then once we've done this, then your problem's solved. You don't have to worry no more. Right, here we go. Oh yeah, then it installs the update, so that's cool. And then we go and check for a Adobe After Effects. As you can see, it all works now. And then I can do Premiere Pro. Uh, uh, where's Premiere Pro? There you go, so Premiere Pro loading that up as well. So After Effects, move this out the way. And take that off. Um, one second. Sorry about that. So now we're at Premiere Pro. So Premiere Pro works. Um, let's get rid of that. And we also got After Effects works. And now we just need to check if media encoder works, which is, where are you? Media, Adobe Media Encoder 2020. And as you can see, it works as well. Photoshop does have video potential, or not for video potential, it has some video properties about it. So if you've got any problems, that will fix it as well. So that is all I need to talk about this. This is the problem solved, everything works. And that's how you sort that out with a media feature pack. You can't even download Windows 10 or oh, also Adobe uh, Premiere Rush as well. You can't download Windows Media like Player R or VLC or anything like that. It just doesn't solve the problem. Even all the, um, the special like encoders, that doesn't work. It needs to be like that. So everything is all done. So I hope you enjoyed this and I hope that this was in very informal, very easy for you. I'm going to be doing, well, you might as well subscribe because I'm going to be doing more things like this just so it's more easier for people. Uh, I do a lot of things to do with building computers and that, but I feel like I should do things with the software because I don't really show anything of that potential. So I show you how to fix problems like this, maybe overclocking as well and how to keep your system cool. I can do loads of things. Drop it down in the comments if you've got any ideas. 
Well, I'll help you. But anyway, being your man, Roger D, thanks for watching. Roger and out.